how to stop killing your mixes. Next on Music Surgery with me, Dr. Bob. So, your mix sounds great until you crank it up in your car or compare it to one of your hero's mixes and realize you've killed your mix. Somehow, somewhere along the way, you've lost all the punch, width, depth, hugeness, and bottom end. It's lifeless and dead on arrival. Hey, I've killed so many mixes, they had to lock me up and give the key to my ex-wife. <laughs> Well, it's not too late for an easy surgery to bring your song back to life. Because I've killed so many mixes myself, I think I may know a good cure and a great process to apply throughout your mix to keep it alive, healthy, and ready for the car test. All right, let me show you why you're killing your mix. Um, I've got um, my mix is in all of these subgroups right here. Vocals, guitars, keys, drums, bass, the solo stuff and strings. So I'm going to just kind of do this on the fly and explain what I'm doing in the meantime and then show you why I've ruined it and how not to ruin yours like I have so many times. So let me start by just bringing the drums up first. Um, they're all pre-mixed, you know, all my faders of all my drums and all that stuff and everything is down here and they're all busta groups so if i bring this drums up it should be my drum sound okay now, let me move. I'm just going to bring these things in, these groups in one at a time and get a good balance of the song. Um, I know this this song is it's keyboard heavy, like a piano um, um, eighth note thing or quarter note, depending on how you look at the tempo. So I'm going to bring that in and then the bass and, you know, get a good picture. So I'm getting the picture together, just brought the vocals in, just trying to make everything balanced and sound good. All right, let me go down here and find the solo stuff and bring that in. An elephant, you second, that's your
I love this. It's very ELO, Jeff Lynn, and everyone knows on the channel I love Jeff Lynn, so it's a, it was awesome to work on this song. Let me listen to the beginning just to double check. In case you're wondering, the uh, the beginning is a combination of a backwards piano. Basically, I hit this note on the piano, an octave note, and reversed it, and I reversed a crash cymbal. Together, they sound like this. Also, everything else... Um, is flanged. I put a I automated a flanger on my stereo mix. So everything's going through the flanger. You can watch it automate. Jessica, just shot me with a smile. So as it goes, less flange out. Jessica, just shot me with a Okay, now, if I'm going along and that's kind of basically where I've got it, no automation or whatever, but that sounds good to my ear. But let's look at what's happening up here to my stereo bus. Okay, my ear is telling me this sounds pretty good. This is like an SSL bus compressor. This is the FG Gray, which is the Stephen Slate version. I'm smashing this to death. This should never go much past three. Goodbye, goodbye. So, even though my song sounds good, I'm pinching my song, I'm pinching my low end, and I'm pinching everything to death. So what I'm going to do as I'm going to start over with all my groups and I'm going to add one thing in at a time and make sure that as they come in, I'm not killing this. So let's watch. Okay, did you hear how the body and the hugeness and the thump of the drums has already come back because I was pinching the life out of it here. Now, the body and the, the presence and the bigness of the drums is back. So now, as I mix these groups, I'm continually looking up here at this master bus to make sure I'm not pinching it and it's not going past that three, negative three. Let me go down here and check my solo stuff. All right, already much bigger, much more present, deeper, wider, but something still sounds funny to me. So let me see how hard I'm 
hitting my limiter down here. Okay, that's way out of control. In a limiter like this, I should just barely be, you know, right in here between the attenuation between zero and three. Now that I know I'm in the ballpark where I need to be to where the mix is going to sound great and full and thump outside of my house, not just in my studio. Now, obviously, it's not as loud as it was before because I was smashing the crap out of it. But loudness, don't let loudness uh, trick you into sounding that it sounds better. It's just louder. So now let me get my balance between these at that compression and that limiting um, level. I hope this isn't like watching paint dry at home because this is actually, I'm just putting a mix together here. I mean, I'm just definitely, you know, doing this bit by bit to make sure things come together the way they need to. And I should have a pretty good picture. Okay, that's not as loud as when I was compressing and limiting the crap out of it, but that was fooling my ear into thinking it sounded better. This is going to translate here and outside of my room. There you go. It doesn't take much to start over when you have things in groups like that. So you don't have to wreck your head about, oh my God, my mix is terrible. I got to start over and pull everything down. Mix into groups like that and make your subgroups. Everything sounds good on its own. My drum mix, my bass, everything, the, the internal mixes between my kick, my snare, my hi-hats, my toms, all that, all the keyboards between the organ and the piano and the roads. It makes it very easy to start over. Pull all the faders down. You've only got 8 or 10 or 12 faders to deal with instead of 80. It was very easy to redo this mix and redo my gain structure into my SSL bus compressor and my limiter. And like that, I've solved all my problems and I've learned mixing into this, which I call top-down mixing. Call it what you want. But keeping that SSL bus press compressor at about negative three and then in the maybe the your final limiter about that too man you're going to get great results in your studio without getting fooled by loudness and when you take your mix in your car and you take your mixes other place you're going to be nailed or really close to nailed with a few tweaks so do this don't ruin your mixes like I used to hey you guys I want to get rich from YouTube Summer. Put the right script up there. That is not the script that we... Hey guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new searches. Also, take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the Doctor's Lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. 
This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Well, that's it for this week. Use this method on every mix in any kind of genre and your mixes will open up, sound wider, and punchier. We've all been wanted for murder before. Try this method and I promise you'll be in a new next level place with no more casualties. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.